Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we're going to discuss how to analyze the ideational meta function. The first one I've provided the, the text that I use in analyzing the interpersonal meta function in the previous video. So let's start from the first clause. I met my uncle in Bandung, so we need um, one, two, three, four, five. We need five columns. Five columns. I met my uncle in Bandung a month ago, one month ago. So, in ideational meta function, the first thing we need to do is to analyze the process. We need to analyze the verbal group. So, since the process is realized in the verbal group, the verb phrase, the verbal group, so we need to analyze it. So, this one is the process. What process? It's there are materials, there are um, mental and behavioral and so, and so on and so forth, relational and so on and so forth. So, uh, in the previous video, I we, we, we discussed, I explained it to you. So, the process of material, so I, since the process of material, so this one is actor, and this one is go, and in Bandung is circumstance place and then this is circumstance of time yes so there are many kinds of circumstances okay well, let's watch again the, the 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 previous video to to understand different kinds of uh, circumstance for uh, the process so the next one is he gave me a cat so we need four columns here He gave me a cat. A cat. So he again we need to identify first, analyze first the, the process. Process. This one again material. He as actor. And then me. This is and a cat go. So since um, me is the the one who received the, uh, the the goal, so it's beneficiary. Actually, there are two kinds of beneficiary. The first one is um, recipient, and the next one is client. So actually, uh, if you analyze only beneficiary, it's okay. So actually, this one beneficiary and recipient because me here uh, received a cat. So actually, if we change the, the clause into a passive, for example, I give, I was given, sorry, I was given a cat by my uncle. So it will be like one, two, three, four. We need again four columns. <coughs> I was given a cat by my uncle. So I here, since we look at the function, so this one is again beneficiary. And then this one process materials and then cat. And by my uncle, my uncle, it's um, actor. So it is different if we analyze uh, the class in terms of it, its interpersonal meta function. In interpersonal meta function, he as subject and I again as as, as subject. So there's no difference as long as it, it 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 comes first before the the. the Finite or predicator in the interpersonal meta function, then it is subject. By subject, this was finite, predicator, complement, and by my uncle is adjunct. 
that's in interpersonal metafunction, but in ideational metafunction, it's rather different. So if we um, reconstruct the, the clause into another passive voice, like for example, a cat was given to me by my uncle. <coughs> so again, <coughs> we need um, four columns. A cat then was given and to me by my uncle. A cat is um, go, so there's no difference. The data function is as go and it's this one as process. So material and to me beneficiary or recipient, beneficiary recipient and by my uncle. That's um actor. Yes, that's how it works in additional meta function. Let's see the next one. It's a cute cat. So how many columns do we need? One, two, three. We need three columns. It is a cute cat. Yes. We need to see first the process. Here's the process. So it is the process of relational. You still remember uh, the last week's uh, video. So there are two kinds of relational process. The first one is identifying and the second one is um, not intensive, attributive. So which one? Attributive or identifying? It's attributive. Let's watch the, the previous video to to analyze whether it's attributive or it is identifying and uh, this attributive is a in intensive there are three kinds of attributive uh, and identifying relational process the first one intensive possessive and circumstantial so actually this one is intensive so since the process is relational then this one functions as carrier and this one, the attribute. Yes. It's not token and value. Since token and value uh, is the participant of uh, process relational identifying. So this one, carrier and attributive. <coughs> Sorry. So the next one. This made me very happy at that time because I will always want to have a cat. So um, we can uh, divide this into two classes. We need first analyze this one. This made me very happy at the time. Or we can also uh, make this as circumstance. For example, this made me very happy at the time. Insert how many columns? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, five first. We need to. We will uh separate uh, the dependent class. This made me very happy. So here, what is the process? It is the process. So what process? So if you find uh, this kind of construction of clause, then we call it as causative relational. We call it as causative relational. So this one 
as the agent this is the, the uh, uh, special construction of clause this one is carrier and this one is if carrier and attribute at the time then it's circumstance time okay so if you find this kind of construction then uh, you can uh, what is it name the process causative relational this as agent made process causative relational and then if carrier and it is attributive why because we actually can add um, become here in between me and very happy but it's not for example this made me to become very happy to become become is the what is the relational process so this one carrier and attributive that, that that's how it works so the next one then I named it Meowie okay how many <coughs> columns one two three four five then I need it Insert the table. Insert the table. Oh, sorry, a column. Very wide. Okay, very funny. It's um, ellipses. Very funny. Then we need to first. Uh, what is it? Uh, identify the process. This one is the verbal group. What is the process? Is it? Verbal is it materials? Of course, it's, it's not mental, it's not behavioral, it's not relational. I named it Miaoi. Give a name. So, this, if we, for example, identify it as process. Materials, let's see first. And then this one is actor. And then uh, name it Miyoi. Name it this is school. Purosif Miyoi. Miyoi, it's, it's a goal. And this, this is the beneficiary because Miyoi is affected by the, the process and it is the cat itself. Uh, is given the name Miaoi. So this one is uh, actor go beneficiary. Okay, then it's not the process, of course, it's not the participant, and it's not also the circumstance. So we need to leave it blank. So what about very funny? Very funny, it refers to Miaoi. So it is, I assume this as ellipsis, an ellipsis plus. So it should be, then I named it Miaoi. It is very funny. It is very funny. Who is very funny? So it is Miaoi. So we can identify it as attributive. Attribute, sorry. This include, uh, this one of the realization of relational process because it's ellipsis so the the subject and the finite is ellipsed it's elliptical then we call it as attribute the function of very funny is attribute attribute of it <coughs> and then 
her fur is white. Okay, I it takes too long, 15 minutes. Okay, her fur is the process is it is it's relational again attributive. Then this is carrier her fur carrier, and then white is the attribute of her fur. So that's all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.